While Breckenridge may also be your home away from home, you can use your ownership in the Grand Lodge on Peak 7 to see the world's most exhilarating vacation destinations. I'm joined now with Glenn Brady, sales manager at the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. Glenn, tell me a little bit about the exchange program you got available. Uh, Grand Lodge is affiliated with about 2,500 resorts around the world. Uh, you would just simply look in a book, uh, pick out which one you want to go to. It could be a castle in Europe, it could be an Echo Lodge in South America, or you may even want an adventure high in the Rocky Mountains, and you just let us know where you want to go, and we'll send you an electronic and a paper confirmation in the U.S. mail, and uh, we can even help you figure out how to get there as well. So how does it work exactly for the owners? Uh, well, uh, we're affiliated with Interval International. They're a global company that has many other organizations like us in there and the owner would choose the resort they want to stay at and the accommodations that they receive where they're going would be similar to the luxury accommodations you'd have at Grand Lodge. So if you owned a three bedroom at Grand Lodge you could get a, a large three bedroom penthouse maybe in Manhattan or a, uh, a luxury condo maybe in Hawaii or Mexico that would be just like the accommodations at your home resort. So this is something that's perfect for families with kids and uh, or without kids for that matter. Absolutely. Uh, today, more than ever, we're seeing families trying to figure out ways to do more with less, and we provide an affordable solution for just about every type of family. Wow, that does sound simple, convenient, and flexible. Right. As you can see, the Grand Lodge on Peak 7 gives you the best value for your money. We tried to lock off for a place in Cancun. Uh, ag again, we got more for our money. The, the value of timeshares in the Breckenridge area it's probably worth like a factor of two someplace else because all the lock-off sleeps for. So we trade a little, you know, the lock-off for a, for a two-bedroom in Cancun. So the value of your trade is in, immense. And the variations are unlimited in what you can do with a weak timeshare here. Uh, I've never sit down to list them, but there are just so many options to meet any need, whether it's in the United States, Europe, around the world. Oh, we're thinking about taking the kids to Europe now. We're, we're actually trying to plan, you know, the Hawaii vacation. And, uh, it's, it just seems more accessible now, you know. And affordable, definitely. You get a lot more for your investment. The Grand Lodge on Peak 7 is more than just a vacation. It's a lifestyle. I'm here with Ginny, marketing director for the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. Now, Ginny, tell me. How did you guys come up with the concept for the uh, Grand Lodge? Well, you know, uh, Grand Lodge on Peak 7 is actually the third property of some local developers, Rob and Mike Millizer, and now Mike Dudick as well. And uh, Gold Point Resort was the first, and then Grand Timber Lodge, which you may have heard of. So they've got 20-plus um, years of experience perfecting their product, and so they got some great land up on Peak 7 in conjunction with Bell Resorts, and they built a beautiful resort up there. Now, how exactly does it work? Can anyone just go walk right on up to it and, uh, and get a room for the night, or do they have to be a, an owner? Sure, you know, both. Um, you can just walk in and rent a room, or you can own a week every year for your entire life. And so there's really a, a wide variety of, of ownership and usage options, but we find that the best value for people is to own. Okay, so what sets the Grand Lodge on Peak 7 apart from everyone else? Well, um, I think proximity to the mountain is huge. Um, affordability. Uh, what's a little different about the Grand Lodge on Peak 7, obviously, is it's not whole ownership. So you're not committing to owning a unit for you know, 365 days a year. You're really only buying the time you're going to use. And so it makes it very affordable to get right on the mountain and in a beautiful property. Excellent. So tell me a little something about the developers. What, what are they like? Uh, the Millizer brothers and Mike Dudek are all great guys. Uh, they've lived here 20 odd years. Their families live here. Um, they really believe in being the employer of choice in the community. And so they treat their employees very, very well. We have great benefits for the size of our company. And uh, they're, just, they're just great guys. You know, they really love travel. They love giving people great vacations. You know, our motto is um, our family commitment, always great vacations. And they really live by that. Well, I'm looking around, I'm seeing all these awards, so obviously you're doing something right. But what's it like working here with the Grand Lodge at Peak 7? Um, you know, it's great. We have about 250 employees, so we're big enough to get things done quickly, but we're small enough where we can still make quick decisions and change our strategy if we need to, which is great. Um, but yeah, you mentioned the awards, and I think it's important to talk about that real quickly. The American Resort Development Association, or ARDA, um, has awarded these developers um, over competition like Disney, Starwood, I mean we're up there with the big guys and these guys win awards every year. 
Excellent. Well, thank you, Jenny. Thank she's you. Marketing Director for the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. Well, ownership has, has really exceeded our expectations because it has assured us that we're going to be together and ski for a week instead of trying to figure out when we might do it or where we might do it. And all the amenities and everything that they said they were going to do, they did, especially here at Peak 7. Because we purchased before they just had a hole in the ground. And they said, this is what we're going to do. And we came this week and found out they did what they said they were going to do. And it feels like a home away from home. It truly feels like home when we're here. Here we are again in the grand foyer of the Grand Lodge on Peak 7, and this is Mike Millizer joining us. We talked a little bit about all the amenities, and it actually took quite some time because the list goes pretty extensive. And people are really getting a good picture on why this is such an unbelievable opportunity for them. But, you know, before this place started, there's a good story to be told, and I want to know a little bit what brought you to Breckenridge. I'll tell you the short version, Julie. Okay. Um, well, I'm a Midwest guy, and like uh, a lot of people who come to Breckenridge, they fall in love with it. I came here to be a ski bum after college one year, uh, a job of which I was quite good at. Mm -hmm. I skied over 120 days and learned how to ski any terrain on the mountain. We didn't have snowboarding then, or else I might have done that, but right. you know, I was a skier. Um, and then I got, talked to my younger brother to come out a couple years later, and we um, kind of worked together out here. and. Things fell together after that. Well, I'm sure he's probably still thanking you because I know that you both are still Breckenridge residents, but how did you get into the, the development business from there? Oh, boy, that's another long story. <laughs> you know what? I think what it was is we were two young kids uh, in our tw mid-20s um, with not much to lose, and we had an opportunity, which we took advantage of on, on um, buying some property up at a place called Gold Point. And, uh, Things worked out well for us. The economy had turned, and our product, um, which is affordable price for a lot of people, seemed to work. Mm -hmm. And it's worked for us for the last, you know, 22 years here in this town. So um, we were fortunate at Gold Point, and um, after we got done with that, uh, again, we were at the point of um, we needed to find some more land to stay in this town, which we really wanted to do. So we ended up. Um, being fortunate enough to, to purchase the land for Grand Timber Lodge, mm -hmm. which is um, 159 units down between the base of Peak 8 and Peak 9, beautiful resort right. that has been sold out now for a couple of years. And speaking of selling out, how many homeowners do you guys have between those two properties and then adding the Grand Lodge into that equation? Total now is over 15,000. Um, um, interesting how we bought this land. Mm -hmm. we, our, our third partner, Mike Dudek, and I want to clarify that there is three of us, mm -hmm. um, and we're just local guys who have raised our families here, who live here in, in Breckenridge, um, and um, we actually don't even have any investors outside other than ourselves, but um, we were fortunate enough to get this beautiful piece of property here, and I think part of that is because we have lived here 25 years, and we um, know the community. And I think that when the owners of this land, who knew it was something special, mm -hmm. um, thought, well, we want to make sure something special gets built here by people that will do it right. And I think that's part of the reason we were lucky enough to be able to, to mm -hmm. give them our money to buy the thing, <laughs> honestly. Right. Yeah. When you were at the point of the Grand Timber Lodge, did you ever envision anything of this magnitude at that particular time in your careers? Julie, I don't, I, to this day, I don't. I walk in here, I think, I, I, I was responsible for this. <laughs> I wasn't. A lot of people were, and I was just fortunate to be involved in it. There was a lot of good people. And now, the people that work for you, really, I mean, I, I know that you're, a lot of people put that little equation together as you're only as good as the people that work with you and for you. Do you, do you believe in that as well? Well, clearly we do. We, <laughs> have, we, have, we have several little slogans we've used throughout the years. One is our passion statement, which is our family commitment, always great vacations. Um, um, the other is we have sought out to be the employer of choice in Summit County. Um, I know economy has changed now somewhat, but over the last 20 years, it was hard to find employees here. Mm -hmm. And we always, we knew that the, the key to our success is customer service, first of all. I, I, mean, I wasn't clear about that. Mm -hmm. We're about service in, this, in our company. That's what we do here. We provide great service to our owners and guests. 
but you can't provide great service, truly, unless your employees are committed to it. And you have to have great people that, uh, that understand the concepts and, and the values of the company. And so we've spent a, a lot of time developing um, um, uh, compensation package, you know, many, you know, you know things for employees to, to, to make them feel like they wanted to be part of our, mm -hmm. our company. And so we've done that, I think. And you started with three employees virtually, and now you're at, what, 300 <laughs> and counting? I was, I was the chief snowplow driver, <laughs> for sure, at Gold Point. And now we're a little over 300 of us. Yeah, and it's, a, and it's exciting that we've grown, we've grown pretty dramatically, but, you know, we're still a small company in a small town. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes us unique and different in the resort business. I really do. Mike, yeah. thanks so much for taking some time with us. Thank you. The facilities are, are, are awesome. I mean, everything from the movie room to the grotto to the, the workout room, yes. they're, just, they're just awesome facilities. And, and the rooms are, are very nice too. The, the, the layouts are good. The kitchen is, is well stocked. When you can walk outside the front door, and the swimming pool's right there, and the lift line, the lift is right there, and you know, you can ski right down, the girls run right into the swimming pool. We can continue skiing. I mean, it's really, really such a nice way to do a ski trip. With a range of never before seen amenities, activities, and breathtaking surroundings, the Grand Lodge on Peak 7 is an opportunity that must be addressed quickly. If you're interested in ski in, ski out property at an affordable price, and stop by the open house at the Grand Lodge on Peak 7, located at the base of the Independent Super Chair on Peak 7. The staff at the sales office would love to spend some time with you to discuss the project. In addition, you might be eligible for some great gifts just for spending some time with the staff. You can use those gifts while you're here on vacation. We hope you've enjoyed spending time with us and learning about the opportunities at the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. Thanks for watching. <laughs>